Hey, what's happening guys? This is Mike here. I've been tinkering around in my kitchen a lot today trying to figure out how I can turn some of my household produce items into some fun and uh, different snacks, if you will, that are also healthy and guilt-free. So here's what I've come up with, you guys. I'm going to turn two sweet potatoes and a butternut squash into chips just using a little bit of canola oil and my oven and I want to show you guys how I'm going to go through the process of doing okay, this. Okay, so my first step in all this was to prep the sweet potatoes first. I went ahead and cut them up into very thin slices. You want to go for about paper thin on this one because again, you are making chips. I don't know if you can tell here, but this is a pretty thin slice and this is about the consistency that I was going for. Alright, all I had to do from there was just toss them in some canola oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. My oven's preheating to 375 right now, so once it's ready, I'm going to pop these in with the butternut squash chips. Once I get them prepped, and that's coming next. Okay, I've already prepped the butternut squash chips, and as you can see, they're a little crescent shaped, but that's okay. Because butternut squash is very tough in texture, what I need to do next is go ahead and drop them into a pot of boiling water, which I have ready to go right here on the stove. I'm going to do that for about a minute or two until they get soft enough. And then once that's done, I'm going to carefully bring them out of the boiling water and let them air dry on these paper towels here. Okay, so now I've skipped a few steps here, but my butternut squash chips are ready to bake. After putting them in the boiling water for about a minute or two, I let them sit on the paper towel just to air dry and cool off a little bit. Alright, after that, I just sliced the ends off of them. They're just tough and grimy and you don't really want to be chewing on them when you're trying to enjoy your snack. So after carefully slicing those off, I just tossed them around in some canola oil and salt like I did for the sweet potato chips. And now here they are, ready to go on my parchment sheet pan. My sweet potato chips are ready to go now. The oven's all set to 375. I'm going to throw these guys in here for about 10 to 20 minutes. That's what the recipes call for, but I have a feeling I should start checking on them very carefully after about that 10 minute marker. I suggest you guys do the same if you're going to try this one. Okay, so I've had these guys in the oven here for about 10 minutes now. Now I know 10 minutes is about the bare minimum, but I'm just too curious. I gotta see how we're looking with these. Oh, better get oven mitt here. Uh, good, as you can see, getting nice and crispy, getting very warm as well. I'm gonna give these guys about two, three more minutes, check on them again. There's a good chance they're gonna be ready to come out by then. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven after about 18 minutes. They're nice golden brown and crispy now. I actually just tried one of these sweet potato chips and they are really, really good. I personally enjoy the natural flavors that you're gonna get from sweet potato chips and butternut squash chips, but you guys can feel free to season and tinker with them as you wish. Again, as long as we're snacking healthy, that's all that matters, right? Periodically, I'll just keep checking Pinterest, the internet, see what else I can find in terms of healthy snacks that are easy to throw together, stuff you can take on the go, really not have to put a lot of legwork into your food prep. All right, be sure to check the description that I attach into this video if you want to use the recipe and try what I just did here. All right, until the next time, hands up like a champ.